Season's greeting everybody from the Happy Coin. I have a uh, recent purchase inventory highlight for you today. Uh, it's again uh, about more proof coinage. Uh, but before uh, I get into that, I wanted to just take a minute to uh, talk briefly about the holidays. Uh, Thanksgiving went great for, uh, for, for us here at the Happy Coin. Uh, we enjoy the holidays, we love Thanksgiving, we really like Christmas, uh, but we also know there's a lot of people who don't like the holidays, and we get that too. So if you stop into the store and you don't like the Christmas music or you want to hear something else or you're just grumpy and you don't like the holidays, let us know because we get that, and uh, it's enough about the holidays, okay? All right. So, um, Buying this coin recently, um, it's a 1936 satin proof buffalo nickel, and it's a really neat coin. It's uh, fairly rare. They made 4,400 proof buffalo nickels in, uh, in 1936, and that was the first year that they resumed proof coinage, that the U.S. Mint resumed proof coinage after laying off for 20 years from 1916 through 1936. They didn't make anything, or they started again in 1936. But we'll get more into the specifics about this coin later. It sort of gives me, um, with the $3 gold proof coin that we did recently, and this coin coming up, I wanted to just talk a little bit more about proof coinage. The coin up on the screen here is an 1833 cap bust half dollar proof, and it's called a crushed letters. As many of you probably know, the cap bust uh, half dollars were, uh, they had lettered edges, and the way that the, uh, the way that the proof um, uh, coining of this was set up with the collar and the dies and everything, it smushed the edge of the coin and the letters were compressed and looked a little bit unusual. This is one of five coins. This uh, 1833 uh, cap bust proof half dollar is one of five coins that the US Mint made. It last sold in February 2016 for like $140,000 or something like that. It's a pretty unusual coin. Um, the next one is the uh, Gobrek dollar. Um, this is a, um, a proof coin. Um, you know, he, uh, Gobrek, uh, Christian Gobrek designed the, um, you know, a lot of coins, but uh, most notably the uh, seated coinage uh, with the US Mint. And this was uh, sort of like an experimental coin, I think, but it was nevertheless a proof. Uh, a thousand of them were made. Um, this one last sold in um, August of 2014 for 88,000. Um, jumping ahead in proof dollars, um, this is sort of the king of all Morgan dollars. Um, in 1895, they only made um, proof uh, dollars in Philadelphia. And this is a deep cameo. I think it's a 67 plus. It's a pretty, uh, you know, uh, rare coin. I think they made 800 of them or something like that. And this coin sold well into the six figures. Um, it's really a stunning, stunning coin. Um, they, the U.S. Mint made, you know, quarters and half dollars and they made pennies, uh, some very unusual pennies. Uh, large cents were made in proofs. Um, a lot of the Flying Eagles, a lot of people think that all of the Flying Eagles were proof coins or all the 1856 Flying Eagles were proof, something like that, I don't even know. Um, but the, the Mint struck a lot of proof coins um, for many, many years, starting uh, like with the 1801 dollar. And these are just sort of some notable examples that I'm coming up with. Um, interestingly, they also made uh, one of my favorites is uh, Matt Proof Lincoln Cents. This is a um, like a Proof 67 Brown Matt Proof Lincoln Penny, and as you can see, it has this sort of really funky color. It, it uh, I don't know whether people did stuff to them or whether they just toned strangely, but that's what the coin really looks like. They were sort of like reddish and purpley, and they were really cool coins. Um, the red ones, however. Um, you know, that's a red one. You can see that the coin has the squared off um, rims uh, that are very consistent all the way around. And then of course the edges are, are very square as well. Um, the uh, matte proof coin um, that we had up there before uh, last sold in um, 
let's see if I can get it back. Last sold in um, uh, October 2018 for 9,500 bucks. I mean, I, I do think that that's a pretty cool coin. I'm not sure I would have paid 9,500 for it, but I certainly, I might have. Um, and then this coin, um, you know, there's a big difference between red and brown coins, or between brown coins, red and brown, and red. This was a 1916 proof, the last year of proof coinage uh, until 1936. This coin brought um, $35,000 in uh, October of 2011. That's a lot of money for a penny, but it's, uh, it sure is a nice one. But getting back to the coin at hand, the coin that we have in the store, it's available on our website, it's available on eBay, and it's available right here at the Happy Coin in Coscob, Connecticut. It's a 1936 satin proof buffalo nickel. It's uh, graded proof 68 plus by uh, NGC and has been verified by CAC. Um, the coin has tremendous color. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, it's really well struck. The surfaces are, you know, I can't say enough about the coin. I think a Proof 68, the auction record for a Proof 68 was like $18,000. This one's a little bit, we have it priced a little bit under $16,000. Um, and, you know, it's here, it's here for the taking. So anybody that wants to come in and, you know, look at the coin, talk about coins, uh, shop for holiday gifts, or just come in and say hello. The coffee's always on and uh, we'd love to see you in the store. So thanks everybody for watching the video. Have a great holiday if you're so inclined. And if you're not, as I said, we get that too. Uh, and uh, thanks everybody for your time and watching. Thank you again, everybody, for watching. And we encourage you to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I look forward to seeing you on the next recent purchase inventory highlight. Christmas is coming. We've been doing some shopping. See you next week.